Welcome, welcome, welcome. The fresh air is overrated. The weekly source for anything gaming with wild map and curves. And Steiner. Again, okay. Yo, what's going on? Welcome to Fresh Air's Overrated, episode number 204. It is Thursday, October 13th, halfway through the month already, 2016. I am your host, Wab Matt, and as always, we have Steiner. And, um, How's everything going? Nobody's muted this week. Everything's going okay. <gasps> wow, my intro actually worked. It's all great. Well, no, well, you worked fine last week. Everybody heard you all right. Oh. It was me. Okay. Oh, right. I'm muted no myself. One heard you. Right. Okay. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> mm-hmm. No curbs again. Uh, he's gonna call in later. Maybe we'll see. We'll maybe. see about that. And my arm, my arm for my mic stand is still broken. So there is that. My my mic is like directly in front of me. It's not comfortable because it's directly in front of me all the way to the ground right now. So it's like kicking around mm-hmm. the mic stand right now gotta get around it it's it's not the best situation but you know i got it paid today so i I plan on buying that the the shock absorbing thingy for the the mic stand Mm -hmm. whatever the hell it's called yes (laughs) yeah uh VODs and MP3s, megascorcher.com. Head over there, check that out. We got other shows, including the ones hosted by Mac 19 PM, which is like removed from play. And uh, what's this? His card game it show changed names a few times, so I forget oh. what it's called now. I thought it was just called the main phase. It was called like that. that. It was called that. Now it's like something else. I forget. Anyways, uh, and we're on iTunes as well. If you just look up megascorcher.com, uh, it, everything will come up. Every everything, so you can just look that up every anywhere where you can find podcasts. And in terms of live, we're on youtubecom slash TV slash live. All right, that's it. That's the intros. We're going on to games we're play- that we have played this week. For me, it is none. Yeah, yeah. That's not good. Eh. <laughs> Next week, Battlefield comes out, so, you know, mm. I'll be playing a lot of stuff next week. You mean just a lot of Battlefield? Mm. Well, Battlefield and there's something else, too. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to play. I just have to get either a better computer or an Xbox. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah, mm. better computer, depending on how much money you have. Your processor's fine, you just need a new video card. Mm-hmm, unless I'm playing Forza. That's the dilemma. That Forza dilemma. Yeah, well, to the point that it was only using one thread or something like that. Whatever the what hell it was doing. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, anyways, I have been playing a fair bit, actually. Uh, went back to Fallout 4, played a couple hours of that. Uh, StarCraft 2, of course, because I'm Steiner. Why not? Um, re-downloaded or reinstalled uh, um, Elder Scroll Online. I was going to putz around in that a little bit. And then I've been playing uh, Fallout Shelter on the Android. Or mobile, or what the hell ever it's called. Mm-hmm. That whole billion dollar industry that is uh, microtransactions. That old thing. Yeah. That, that came out, what, during E3 last year, or was that two years ago? I didn't... It was a well, while ago. it came out, yeah, uh, June, yeah, 15. That's all I remember. Uh, it would have been that. for um, iOS that it came out originally, and then it, they brought mm-hmm. it out like four or five months later on Android. Yeah, because I remember when they, it was out, it was just like, hey, uh, so we got this cool little phone game. Oh, you can get it right now. All right. Why yeah. not? Well, there's actually the reason I'm playing is because there's they've updated it a fair bit since it originally came out on iOS or Android. Now you can actually send guys out on missions and shit and do stuff outside the vault. So it's just adds a little extra thing, and they also added in extra rooms that you can then make your own 
weapons or armor or whatever as well. Yeah. So that's that's about it. Just your standard stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Didn't do anything quite new or oh. anything. All right. Let's go to new releases. Yeah. So There's quite a few this week. Well, because PlayStation VR is out this week, so the, all those games I didn't even list them all. There's a there's a lot. So if, if you're getting a PlayStation yeah. VR, you should probably already be educated about that, anyways. But uh, there's a few that aren't only VR games, like a hundred foot robot golf that you can actually play with just a controller with a screen. So you know, destroy buildings and stuff, and it, it, it the cutscenes are very anime like in that game. It looks interesting. Mm. It looks pretty silly for what it is. Thumper is like, it's a uh, hmm. never heard of it. It's like a rhythm game kind of, but you're like a guy moving towards an object, like kind of, and you're like going to a certain rhythm. You're doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. In, in VR, it looked pretty cool, in, but yeah, I don't. In VR, it just makes it look like it's huge, but uh, in regular thing, it's just mm-hmm. like hey, it's on a TV screen. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is out on the PS4. That's after a year of being exclusive on the Xbox. Yeah. I think the Xbox has, uh, what's it called? Exclusive DLC now, I believe. That that came out this week. Or maybe it's next week. Sometime soon. They're getting a I year. I don't really care. They're getting a year exclusive on that stuff, too. Um, Dragon Quest Builders for the PS4 and Vita. I've seen people streaming that. I have no idea nope. if it's like... Uh, Minecraft or something? I have no idea. I, I haven't really paid attention to that, so I don't really. Know. I, I know what Dragon Quest is. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. Builders is. I don't understand that part either. Uh, Gears of War Four is officially out. If you didn't pay like a hundred bucks for it, yeah, last it's week. essentially Minecraft. Uh, it's essentially. Yeah. Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft. Sure, whatever. Sure. With Dragon Quest, well, why not? Uh. Yeah, Gears of War 4, I, that's something that a lot of people are playing, and I definitely am like, damn it, I want to play that. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour. Yeah. For everything. Well, the consoles. Uh, now, <laughs> this is just the base game, right? This isn't I, I don't know. I anything guess so. updated. Maybe you can play online now. WWE 2K17. You can always play Woo! online on Duke Nukem. Hey, hey, WWE 2K17 is out. <laughs> yeah, the the best wrestling game because it's the only wrestling game. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Is it I, the only? They're, I don't. It's really the only know. licensed WWE game. I'm uh, sure there's other wrestling games. I don't know if there's many other wrestling games to be honest. There used Actually, to be more. Actually, it does look like they updated the sprites because this looks much better. Than what Duke Nukem looked like. It's the 20th anniversary world tour. Yeah. No, I'm just like I remember the one on the Xbox 360 that they put out. It looked like horrible ass. This actually looks like it's been updated. Yeah, the one that was online on uh, or yeah. on the Xbox arcade. Live Arcade, as it was called back then. Uh, Super Hyper, uh, yeah, Super Hyper Cube for the PS4 and the VR. It's like, uh, imagine hole in the wall, but it's like you're a Tetris piece and it's adding to it and you got to mm-hmm. fit into a hole in the wall. And it's just cool in VR because you can look around your shape and mm. be like, I got it, got it. Oh, there uh, it is. Yeah, I can see people get, taking some acid and putting that VR headset on and having some fun. <laughs> just losing themselves in there for five hours and then literally taking yeah. the headset off and then never being able to be alive again. Yeah, something like that. Now this next game, Batman Arkham. I would oh, VR. Batman Arkham VR. VR. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Forgot the important. This game's part. like fifty bucks. Canadian. It should be a oh, hundred. It's like <laughs> a, a ninety-minute fucking te- tech demo. Oh, I and know. And it's fifty bucks Canadian. That's that's what most VR f- games right fuck? now. Fuck. That's a lot of VR games. I don't know if you noticed. Like just because it's licensed Batman, they're charging that much, or is it because it's a little bit of they just think because people will buy it? To, for, to me, it's I a little can bit see of in two or three weeks. That's going to be discounted to like 
15 bucks Canadian. To me, that's a little bit of it just being Batman and also it being a VR game. Like, VR games are expensive right now. They're, they're not cheap. That is just, like, I could understand 30 but it, it's like 45 or 50 bucks Canadian. I, I, I don't fucking understand how it's that much. Hey. Like, if it was actually a full, like, five, six hour experience, okay, fine. You spent it's that like much on the VR minutes. already. Why not? Why not? Because I'm already fucking broke from spending 700 bucks. Why not go more broke? Why, let's just go mm-hmm. all in. I already have go a mortgage. All Fuck in. that. Uh, Battle Zone. That's more affordable for the PlayStation VR. That's what, like 10 bucks or something? 15 bucks, I assume? No, I think it's like 60. But it no is a full way. game. No way. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking that up right now. I'm looking up the price of that thing. Well, it's a full game. God damn it. It's it should just be easier to find this on Google, but it's not. 80. 80. It's not 80 bucks. It's 80 bucks at um Best Buy Canada. Oh Jesus. All right then. That's well, that's a normal price game because it is a full game. Like it's like a 10-hour experience. I guess now, how it's kind of, an of a normal game. Uh, <laughs> but I also think there might be actually be some online and or co-op on it. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shadow Warrior 2. That's a fucking good game. I don't know. Is 2 a good game? Well, this is 2. Oh, okay. One okay, a it's good a game? Good, that's okay. Is 1 a good game? Because I, I, I only remember 1, to be honest. I yeah. Well, no, well they, re, like, they revamped or redid the series. Like, did you ever play the original Shadow Warrior? I, I don't know if I played it, but I know what it is. Okay. Um, like, the new, the remade one that was from a couple of years ago, yeah, it's it's a pretty, it, it's, it's a throwback to the mid-90s game. So it's just complete nonsense, just blowing shit up and cutting shit up into pieces. But it, it, it does it well. Like, yeah. Like, the story ain't fucking great, but there is a story. Uh, and then, yeah. And you, you, there's a whole bunch of, like, ho- corny... Like, the guy, what's the... Uh, Lu Wang is his name. So he has a whole bunch of Wang jokes about his cock or what the hell ever. So it, it's just a throwback to, like, just stupid 80s movies and then, like, mid-90s, late-90s games. Sounds pretty great. It's fun. I, it's just, it's fun. It's not going to win any fucking awards. It's just, it's fun. Sure. Uh, Drive Club got updated to work in VR. Yay. Uh, okay, sorry. Yay. Wait, was Drive Club ever actually completed? Yeah. It was. Okay. Yeah. No, I remember they released it and it failed horribly. So they took it down and worked on it for another year or something like that. And then I never heard anything about it again. Mm-hmm. So they never took like, it down. Uh, they never took it down. It was just it was supposed to be a PlayStation Plus game and it never was a PlayStation Plus game. No, no, that's the only thing I've seen of it. I've never actually seen a full title. It's always been there a full was supposed title. To be a PlayStation Plus. It's always been a full title. You always had to pay for it. That's the I, problem. It, it was a, there was supposed wasn't to, the full game. It was just I know, but like there was that never came out. Demo. That that literally never came out. So I did. Oh, because I have Drive Club on my PlayStation Plus account. I don't know. Maybe it came out on Plus way later, but yeah, yeah, it was. But again, I thought it was just the same thing that they. I'm pretty sure they like it failed horribly. You couldn't connect online and a whole bunch. Well, of at other first, crap. yeah, at first they had issues like that, but now I, it's, it, I bet it's all right now. Whatever. Um, well, I'm assuming it was probably the only. It was it was a launch game or something. That game like looked that, really so pretty, was... but in VR it does not look that pretty. Maybe when the pro comes out, it will look prettier. Mm. Who knows? Yeah, I can I can see that happening for a lot of games because it just well, especially the ones that want to go for a realistic look because the realistic looking game right games right now it just they end up looking like PS3 well, games or something. The it, the biggest issue is that if you're taking an existing game and making it VR, that existing game was made for 30 frames a second. 
especially a game like this that was a P, like only on PlayStation. It like it was made to do thirty, maybe forty frames a second on that hardware. Now you're putting on this headset and making it go ninety. I don't see that going over very well. Eh, now just... I don't know exactly what because when you get the VR thing, you do get like a, a like a mini PlayStation Four thing. It, that's what it looks like, and it does do something. I don't know if it's for video or for processing power but it does do something from my understanding it just it just ends up looking muddier and just shittier it, well, it, like they, it, they would have to turn down the graphics yeah they'd have it to turn should have just looks like a ps either an early ps3 game or like a late ps2 game it looks it, it look doesn't that look that bad good. Uh, PS2 it doesn't look atrocious. it doesn't uh, the, some ps2 games looked pretty good those those god of war games looked pretty good no you Look at them like now. No, no, they don't. They look yeah, good no, at they the look, time. No, they look fine. Like uh, God of War has aged fine. A lot of stuff has has not. Like uh, God of War looks pretty bad. God of War Two looks all right. What's no, that? Like God of War Three. What's that game uh, I, uh, on the PS2 where oh Stuntman? That Stuntman looks t- super terrible now because that was such an I early PS2 game. game. I don't know. PS2 games looked. All right. PS1 games are the ones where you're like, ooh, whoa. All right. Yeah, no wall. <laughs> like, you still... Like, actually, look at the specs of what a PS2 is. Jesus Christ. To the point that they got Final Fantasy X to work on that thing was fucking beyond all my comprehension. Hey, some, some PS2 games looked all right. Uh, Eve Valkyrie P, uh, for the PS4. Uh, that's in VR as well. And then a PlayStation yeah. VR Worlds, which comes with, like, the big package of VR if you buy that. And then yep. the weirdest game of the week, it's a super long title, it's called My Twin Brother Made Me Cross Dress As Him and Now I Have to Deal With a Geeky Stalker and a Dom Beauty Who Want Me in a Bind. And there you go, that's, that's what that game is called. Bind meaning menage a trois? Uh, uh, or like binding down to a bed or something, I don't know. Oh, bind can, okay. be, bind can mean a lot of things, it probably means like a, a conundrum. Yes. I'm gonna actually Google this and see what comes up. It, it means I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some well, aids on my computer after this. Oh no no, it's it's like uh, it's like a dating game, but like a ch- like anime kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure it's American as well. Pretty sure it's like a, an American girl that's developing this. I don't remember. Anyways, that's it. I don't have too much news this week in terms of video games, but I have some stuff. Valve, they're adding native DualShock 4 support to Steam. Yay. So now when you plug in your PS4 controller into your PC and you're playing any Steam game, it'll just work. It'll just display as a PS4 controller and everything, and you can configure it and everything. Like, it looks pretty cool. I saw a video Okay, of this is some weird-ass cool. shit. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay, it, it's a girl. Yeah, that's cross-dressing as her twin brother for some odd reason. That's I'm sure it's explained in storyline somehow. <laughs> so, and then, so it, it's a three-way lesbian experience. Anime style, but they might think that they're getting together with a guy. Okay, so it's fair enough. But <laughs> it, it, well, there is bondage in this title, or in, in the um, well, Dom Beauty and and Geeky Stalker. You know, it's all that stuff's implied. Is it's implied? Uh, the short title of the game is called Lady Killer in a Bind. If you want to look that up, yeah. instead of looking up the whole title. So I'm assuming the lady that cross-dresses as her brother is also a killer. Mm, mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's literally the only news story I have, except you wrote down PlayStation VR is out, but we, we mostly covered that already. Yeah. Um, well, I just kind of thought maybe talking about what you think the sales are going to be and type of thing like that. Uh, I have no idea what the hell the sales are going to be. I'm sure they'll be all right. <laughs> and or the, I guess the overall um, expectation, not expectations, but the overall. What is Sony going to do with this gonna after too? Like that's the, yeah. that's the big question. Yeah. 
What do you think? Oh, what well, actually having some sort of discussion here? What do I think they're actually going to end up doing past this? I don't know. Yes. Like, cause look at the Vita, look at the move. Like it was all that shit was like, Hey, it's, this is pretty awesome. And then it just went away. Yeah. Well, so. cause I think they realized that people weren't giving a shit about it. So they kind of just moved past it and they just tried something. Didn't work. Okay. Let's go to the next thing. Uh, the move was all right. Like at the time as a, as a oh, yeah, no, motion controller, like, it, it worked. worked. You know, that's, um, that's the one but thing. You can it's think it's about just it. the thing is, it didn't take <laughs> off. It didn't do massive gang banging sales, nope. and it wasn't like, oh, everyone's got to play this. No, nope. there's do only a few. Heavily based there's only a of, few games on that that were actually worth playing. Right, and that's the big thing is you have to actually have games worth playing. Well, I think and, out of all the headsets, the PS One is the one that I would want to play games on right now that are like actually like engaging and like look cool well the psvr one is the one that i would get just just Um, out of the pure games that are out that's the that's the only thing i'm basing my decision on like out of actual tracking and stuff i would probably go vive but like at the same time all that shit's gonna change so fast what's that shit gonna even look like in five years like it's not gonna look anything and that that is actually something i do see is that um Oculus is already working on 2.0. Like they've already like said that like we're gonna have a release date come E3 or something like that. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't quite heard anything from Vive. And then PlayStation obviously is releasing today, so they're not really talking about the future much. But the big issue is that Oculus 2 is supposed to be overall like room tracking, so you're gonna have multiple sensors, which the with the remotes on the oculus you're going to have multiple sensors so it's going to be able to pick you up from multiple points vive already has that so like i think that's going to be the big drawback to playstation vr is that they only have the one camera yeah but it's it's pretty much just a webcam either it's not like it's shooting out any beams or anything it's just straight up a camera looking at yeah looking at light yeah Mm mm-hmm which it, it does work while doing that, but you, they're going to really have to figure out a way to add in extra cameras or something. I, I think that's the only real way this is going to work the way people want it to work. And then they're going to have to sell like an official PlayStation hub, USB hub, because something only, like two Because they're going to have to have God some way thing. of it reading one another. But I guess maybe they could do that in some sort of update, but a firmware update for that little thing that they go out with the vr sets already i I don't know on how they're gonna deal with that other than selling you a whole new fucking thing which would be horrible horrible for everyone yeah i suppose the headset could still theoretically work they would just have to add in something to then connect all the cameras to to then But again, using a camera opposed to using radar or something, I don't know how that would all work. Uh, there's a lot of weird issues with the PlayStation VR 2. Like the, the breakout box, it doesn't do HDR. Yeah. So like if you have an HDR TV, you literally have to unplug your PS4 and then replug it straight into the TV if you want your HDR. <laughs> right. It's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. There's some stuff there that's just weird about it. Yeah. Like, you can only use headphones that are plugged into that little box, the breakout box, too. You can't use any other headphones. They have to be plugged into that box. So, like, uh, if you bought those expensive PS4 headphones that are wireless, oh. you cannot use those. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay. That's actually well, okay. pretty shit So, nasty. technically, you can use those things because they, they can also work wired, but, you know. Who wants to use a wireless headset wired? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, all right, let's go to MMA, I guess. Sure. So Ronda Rousey is coming back at UFC 207. She's going to fight Amanda Nunes for Amanda the title Nunes. on December 30th. It's funny, we just talked about this last week, how I said that yeah. they should maybe consider moving this on the 31st. Especially if Ronda yep. Rousey's fighting. And I still feel that way, goddammit. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I still don't think I agree that the 30th is having that on a Friday night is fucking weird. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but now you would like they would still have to time change. Because yeah, no, you just Vegas, make it earlier, whatever. End at midnight or something like that, would it not? Or just about? It, uh, no, not Vegas because that's the time no. it ends here. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, because Vegas is the same time as here. Yeah. So I guess it would be you guys that would be because it ends at like ten fifteen or something like that. So I guess it would be yeah twelve fifteen in the East Coast. So. Yeah. yeah, a little wonky. Just, just make it. Just pretend that it's on Fox. People just watch those events on Fox anyways, but it's a pay per view. Mm-hmm. And it has Ronda Rousey. So, like, that's the thing. It has Ronda Rousey. Whoever wants to watch her fight is going to watch her fight at whatever goddamn time it's yes. on anyways. Yes. So, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Do I, it on I, Friday. I, I, yeah. I'm sure it'll sell yeah. all right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> have they said where this is? Yes, it's in Vegas. It is in Vegas. Okay. Yes. Usually the last event of the year is always in Vegas. It's, like, the okay. big event. But this year there's been so many big events that... Yeah. Like, what what can you do? So Conor McGregor got fined for throwing that bottle in the can. He got fined a hundred and fifty thousand. And now yeah. Conor is really pissed, and he's saying that he will not fight in Vegas anymore. Well, so, what does that even mean, though? Well, he he just like won't I fight mean, there. what 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 is that doing? Well, it's, it's, he'll, he's going to give other states money. That's not Nevada. That's what he's doing. But. <laughs> That doesn't just because of the athletic commission going to take money away from everyone else. Oh, will I, they? Just, so yeah. here's a few just, things. Just that that, so phrase just to there's a sense. lot of stuff about this that I feel weird about. I feel like it's a lot of money for nothing, but at the same time, Connor well, he probably did hit somebody. He did hit somebody, and Connor. So Connor made so much more money doing that, anyways, at, in the long run. So it's just like, oh yes, who yes. cares? Because that the the, yes. the hype for that fight got way bigger. By doing after that, that, he probably like made three million dollars more because it just made that controversy <laughs> because of the um, pay per view dollars that he gets. But then here's so, another thing too: is that the Diaz bros, both of them, I'm pretty sure, threw a bottle. And then Jake Shield definitely threw a bottle too. Jake Shields, yes. But so, again, well, I don't. I don't know if Nick did. Maybe not Nick, but Nate definitely did. Diaz definitely did, and then Shields definitely did. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's weird that they got off scot free. And no, no, no. Um, Diaz is his next week. Mm. His so. And everyone's saying, okay, it'll likely be the exact, likely be the exact same thing. So it'll be. In Nick's case, it, or Nate's case, sorry, uh, it'll be a hundred thousand dollar fine because he only made two million dollars. It'll be five percent of that. I see. Um, and he'll still get the thirty days of. But the thing is, he instigated it, so he might get more. But, like the fine, I don't see it being. Certainly, in McGregor's thing the fine's not a big deal because he made so much fucking money Mm -hmm. um it's that he's getting 30 days community service or 30 hours or yes 30 hours or something like that 50 hours 30 hours Um, like a i don't know exactly what the fuck that means because typically in his case it would be him going to a school and talking about like martial arts saved his life or something like that because i'm so i was some gang banging again being mcgregor he'd probably just talk about how awesome he is yeah, I, I don't <laughs> entirely understand what that community service is then going to be. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't... The whole thing is just wonky as hell, why they would throw that in there. Mm-hmm. And if he doesn't do the community service, what does that mean? He loses his license? I don't know. The Nevada State Athletic Commission is weird. That's all, that's all yes. I can say. At the end of the yeah. day, they do a lot again, of shady if he loses, stuff. If he loses his standing in Nevada, he'll lose his standing in half the U.S. Mm-hmm. Can just fight in Canada. If not more than that. He just fight in Canada. And yeah, well, yeah, that, he, and like, well, else. even Canada, I think, that takes a lot of the shit Nevada does and sticks with it. Mm. You'd have to go to Brazil or. I don't go know if to, Canada does. I don't know if they do. No, because I, I, I do remember that something happened in Nevada because. 
Um, yeah, the sil the fuck was it? Um, the silver. Um, the one that with uh, fuck me, I'm losing names yeah. out of my head here. Was it in Toronto? Uh, no, it was the guy who ran away from the piss test because of oh, well, Vanderlei, Vanderlei Silva. Yeah, <laughs> um, he couldn't fight in Canada because can like some event in Canada then held up the Nevada Athletic. Commission. I don't necessarily know if that's Canada or if that, if that might be just USC in general too. Maybe. I have no idea because I I don't know how many fighters that UFC goes with outside of. Uh, the U.S. that are suspended in Nevada. I don't know if they do that often. Yeah. Just USC specific anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because, yeah, he ended up signing with Bellator. He he didn't fight an MMA fight in Bellator. He did some sort of grappling match. Uh, well, right Vanderlei now, Silva. right now he's fighting. Are we, are we still talking about Vanderlei? Yeah. He, well, right now he's fighting in Japan. I thought he was signed with... Bellator. It's possible, but uh, it's po I guess it's possible that Bellator has a deal with Ryzen. Because uh, okay. he, he, he's fighting in a four-man tournament, which he won the first fight, and then... Because well, that, that was one of the whole things that Chael Sonnen was going on. Well, and, then Crow Cop, and then Crow Cop won the, f the other fight, so it's Crow Cop versus Vanderlei now in the finals at the next Ryzen in Japan. Okay. And uh, I guess Scott Coker now is saying that he wants Vanderlei versus Silva next year. Like summertime next year, mm. is what he's saying. Uh, Jade Laser, sports journalist for Fox, it's good old Fox. He's urging all MMA coaches and promoters to avoid helping Greg Hardy, which uh, he is a football player, and uh, he's going to turn to MMA now uh, because of Hardy's history with domestic violence, which. If you want to say that, sure, Jade Laser, but I'm sure there's other UFC fighters that have domestic violence charges that are actually fighting right now. So you should probably jump on everybody if you want to just jump on. Yeah, well, yeah, but again, <laughs> the UFC does have standing on certain things of actually happening that they have fired people because of that shit. Uh huh. No, you, you should, That's usually UFC the UFC does to MMA in general. Usually the UFC does their own investigation separately from yes. everything else yes. to find out what's actually going on too. So Yes. But they, they that those investigations have led to people getting yes. fired because it was true. Yes. Um for sure. But Again, that's just the UFC. I don't know what the fuck Bellator does. I don't know what Ryzen does. I don't know what um, is it still go by um, Legend or not Legend? Uh, is it Dream? Is that what you're thinking of? Well, there was two of them that just merged. Oh, uh, Legacy and uh, yeah. Legacy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legacy and what's the Resurrection? Yeah, like Legacy was one of the larger, smaller shows, so they actually mm -hmm. have well, a number of fighters on contract. Well, it, it was it was Resurrection and Legacy were the two like yeah. upper tier indie shows, and not, there's still a bunch. There's a bunch you can watch online now, like uh, UFC. Oh Fight yeah, well Pass again with TKO coming back, that should be quite interesting on how that is TKO tomorrow. Out. That's tomorrow, isn't it? I want to say that's either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm pretty uh, sure it's it was this November. week. Was it October? November? I don't know if it's that late. I don't think it's it's on Fight Pass during whenever there's no UFC fights. So it's 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 soon. That's all I can say is that it's soon. I thought there was supposed to be a UFC this weekend. But no, it was canceled. oh, there it's was. Yes, one. yes, this weekend there was supposed to be. So I guess maybe it's next week, unless it's it's unless it's this Friday. TKO I'm MMA. I'm looking this no, up right now. No, that's not it. The return November. Oh yeah, November fourth. So it's in like yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's yeah. the Friday and then UFC has an event on the fifth. Okay. All right. That's that that show actually look that that would be uh the one just before two oh. But yeah, oh man, seriously, there's no UFCs all month this this month. Yeah, it's done because of well BJ did whatever, got mm -hmm. hurt or was sick or hey, I'm something. not complaining. I'm actually that's good. There's been so many UFCs lately that I'm alright with that. Uh, so Dana White is denying that GSP versus Anderson Silva is going to happen at UFC 206. Bullshit. <clears throat> oh yeah, D Dana. It's Dana White. 
t- take his word yeah. for whatever everything that it is. comes out of his mouth is a fucking lie. That's <laughs> yeah. all I'm saying. Yes. So, well, hey, wh- let's let's talk about all the other shit that Dana White has to deal with right now too. Because there's a lot of fighters that are pissed. Uh, Juliana Pena is saying that she's going to quit because of uh, the Ronda Rousey thing. Uh, uh, who, who's the champion? Um, Aldo Aldo saying that he wants to quit as well over the Conor well, McGregor Aldo's thing. Aldo's been saying that for a while, but yeah, the last two weeks uh, or so. And then who else? There's, there's, a, there's, one, there's a few other guys that are saying that they're not well, happy. Why is Pena him. pissed off? Oh, because she's not getting Ronda Rousey. Or Amanda Nunez. <laughs> but, okay, A, I'll, like, I'll take Dana's side on it. He's been saying... Rousey's getting the champion, whoever the fuck that is, right when she comes back. He's been saying that since she took her time off. So why would Pena be saying Jack? There's something like she's just trying to get her name out there. I take it. Like I, I don't. I don't know. There's some things get... I can feel sympathetic towards with fighters. Uh, that, that's this is not one of them. It's just like eh. Yeah, no. There's a lot of fights so, that like, you're never going to get. Like, it's just Dana how it is. White has been saying that Ronda Rousey was going to fight for the fucking championship. Period. Done. That that's what was going to fucking happen. So I, I don't understand what the surprise is. That yeah. she was promised the shot first or something. I but I don't I don't even get that. I don't even think she was this anyways. Is like. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Like, now, fair enough, something may have been talked about. If Rousey doesn't do it, then you get the shot, maybe. I don't fucking know. Like, that could have been talked behind door, closed doors or whatever. But, like, that just seems stupid. Like, they've been saying that since she took her leave of, like, no, she's getting, like, when she gets back, she's taking on whoever the fuck the champion is. Yep. If that's Tate or if that was Holly Holmes or whoever the fuck it was going to be, she was fucking fighting them. So, whatever. Mm-hmm. The Aldo shit, I do agree with that. Because he was told that he could not go up and wait and hold on to a belt. But what the fuck is Connor doing? Yep, He's no, going that's... up and wait, holding on to the belt. Yep, that's definitely weird. Um, yeah. And again, now apparently... Well, I've heard a bunch of rumors of either McGregor's going to be retiring after 205, taking some time off like Rousey did, or something completely else. Uh, He could take some time off. He's fought a lot this year and made a lot of money. Which means if he does win, he'd be relinquishing both titles. Well, Because I do have a feeling it's something regarding his fiance is pregnant or something so he's going to be taking some time off until the kid's born and then after that do whatever so that would still be looking at like a year off eh, i'd be fine with him holding on to one title for a year without yeah, why not have people have held on to titles for longer cruz 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 he had that title forever when he was injured but again he was injured not saying i'm just That's not gonna fine fight. let him take a year off he's been fighting a, a lot and if he, if no, he can be enough. fucking and, and he, Alvarez, he want to, like, I don't just, give a shit. But... Just let him keep one of the titles. Well, you're assuming he's winning. No, no I'm anything. saying that's what I'm, I'm saying. If he can beat Alvarez and let, and let him keep one of the oh, titles. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. If he can beat Alvarez, which he's not going to, unless I Alvarez know. like I don't foot know. two, three days before the fucking fight. I don't know, man. I'm not saying that he will win. I'm, I'm just, I'm not yeah, Alvarez certain. Alvarez will take him to the mat and beat the shit out of him. Mm, I don't Diaz know if that's going to happen. I don't know How if that's going to happen. Okay. Diaz did it, but Diaz is bigger and taller. No, Diaz is not a re- – he does not wrestle. Oh, I know. He was using judo throws oh, shit to get him down. I'm still not convinced that that's how it will go okay. down. Just watch. Hey, it, it's – you think his takedown I, defense is good enough not to be taken down? I like Alvarez. Saying, no, I like Alvarez. I, I, this is – the RDA fight was an easier fight in my opinion. Than the Alvarez fight. Than Alvarez? For, for I, don't, I, I still think Connor. RDA would have done the same thing, just taken him down and sat on top of him and beat the fuck out of him. Maybe. He, if McGregor is on his back, he's a fucking white belt. 
Maybe. So, and if he's getting big shots and he can't get up, he is fucked. So the last news item here for MMA, Dave Scholler, he's uh, leaving UFC. He was like the other dude, the uh, the other bald guy that kind of looked like Dana that would be at events when Dana wasn't there. He's leaving. He's okay. gone. He's uh, going to be accepting a job for the NBA's 76ers, Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, I don't know what his job is going to be there, but he's leaving. It's gonna, if I, I had to assume, maybe he's like a scout or something. Some lower-end job. Who knows? I doubt they're going to make him president of that team or anything like that right off the bat. <laughs> mm. So he's gone. Yeah. There you go. That's MMA. Yeah, it is Doesn't say what it is. No. Oh no! Wait. Uh, UFC VP of. Oh, okay. He was the vers- uh, vice president of public relations for the mm-hmm. UFC. Yeah, I'm sure that he I probably. I think it made... would almost be the exact same job. Maybe. It, it'd be VP of public relations for the 76ers. Maybe. All right. So. We could talk about UFC 204 in terms of results. Uh, I watched the whole event. It was pretty crazy. This event was insane because it started with the decision and it ended with the decision. And that's it. That was it. No more decisions. So the first fight of the night, I didn't even write anything down. It's kind of boring. So I didn't even write it. I I was watching, but I just the whole night I I was kind of just concentrated on, on watching it for the most part. Uh, Mike Perry defeated Denny Roberts via KO knees and punches in the third round, very near the 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 end of the fight. There, twenty seconds left. So that was a good fight. Uh, Danny Roberts looked good in the first round, but he just got more tired. Uh, Mike Perry landed a lot of combinations in the second that uh, staggered. Uh, Danny Roberts, and then he just looked super tired coming into the third round, and uh, yeah, the, the it was one knee that landed. He went to the ground. I kind of feel. I think it was um, uh, what's that ref? Uh, uh, Herb Dean. I, th- I think he kind of stopped this fight late. It, it should have been done when that knee landed. The, the few punches that landed after was just like he's totally he's out mm. he's he's not even doing anything <laughs> just like fuck, like this should be over i think he landed like three punches after that knee that was pretty terrible but hey there you go that fight was done uh and then we went on to the uh yeah i think ufc uh on fox sports one yeah yeah, yeah. so this is sports one i don't whatever channel it was on uh the prelims on television so it was a Lucas Sajowski, Sajowski versus Mark Diakates. Sure. Um, so the, the, in the first round, the only note that I have here is that Mark landed a super strong looking slam. I don't know if you saw that slam, but it, it was like all the way up, all the way down, just pure strength. It was pretty crazy. That's the only bar, uh, thing I have about the first round. Uh, the second round, uh, he uh, so Mark, the guy that landed that big slam, he looked good in the first, but uh, he, he ended up tiring out and he got TKO'd near the end of the second. Uh, near the end of the second, sorry. So there you go. Uh, or Sorry, I, I'm, I'm getting everything screwed up. I guess it was Lucas that got the slam and then Mark actually won the fight anyways. So there you go. Uh, Leon Edwards defeated Albert Tumanov via rear naked choke in the third round in this fight. Uh, Edwards just pretty much dominated the whole fight. He, it was a lot of ground and pound, a lot of grinding on the ground to get that rear naked choke eventually. So there now, you go. is it just me or all these Russians look the exact fucking same? Some of them. Some of them have a little bit more hair. You know, but this yeah. guy, like, I, I'm looking at his like profile pic or whatever, and he looks exactly like Khabib. 
just with facial hair. Sure. I don't know. A, but yet a, a lot of Russians are not. bald, so it's either you have hair or you don't have hair, I guess. Now, even in the eyes, he looks a fair bit like a bee. It, it's kind of weird. And there's another guy that's a lightweight Russian that looks very fucking similar as well. Mm-hmm. But whatever. I, I, the gene pool in Russia must not be very deep. <laughs> I don't sure. That or just the harsh conditions just make them all alike. Uh, mm. D- Davy Grant versus Damien Stasiak is the next fight. So, uh, honestly, this fight was entertaining, but out of all the fights, this is probably the most boring so far out of uh, all of them, except for the first fight, which was the decision one. Uh, a lot of scrambles that went back and forth. Uh, it was all right. It just it ended with an arm bar that uh, it honestly took forever. Like, uh, he had his arm in there for a long time, and I was just like, man, this guy should tap. He should probably tap. And then it looked like he was going to get out, and he, d- he didn't get out. So, uh, yeah, ultimately, he probably should have tapped early. Because uh, I, I don't know if his arm mm. is the same now. <laughs> it looked pretty bad. And then uh, this was the main event of the TV card here. Uh, Brad Pickett versus Yuri Alcantara. Uh, th- was this in the... Fr- yeah, this ended in one round, a very quick fight. That's why my yeah. notes here are pretty short. But I, I do have some. So uh, Yuri landed a pretty huge spinning back elbow early in the fight. Uh, then uh, Alcantara got an arm bar, and uh, I guess Brad reversed it, but then he ended in a triangle choke anyways. So there you go. Triangle choke submission, a minute and 50-something in, into that round. A minute 59. So, that was, yep. Good fight. Good way to end the Fox Sports 1 prelims. Then we went into the pay-per-view. Uh, Mirzak, Mirzad Bektik versus Russell Doan. Uh, this fight was pretty much all right, but then it ended with a rear naked choke by Bektik, which came out of nowhere in the first round. Four minutes and 22 seconds in. D- did you only watch the, the main event? Yeah, no, I didn't, yeah. All right. Uh, Stefan Struve versus Daniel Omielangchuk. Was, that's his name. Uh, so, actually... The, uh, Alunya Nangchuk looked kind of okay maybe a minute or two into the first round uh, but then Stefan Shu just kind of overtook with his size and uh, he just landed a, a Dars choke in the second round so there you go, that was that fight uh, then it was Jimmy Manuel versus Ovin St. Preux this this was probably my my favorite fight of the night to be honest if it's not for the main event I yeah, guess I was very surprised that St. Preux didn't win but it was very good though the first round it was just them back and forth just swinging at each other like straight up killers just killing each other uh so jimmy uh ended the fight in the second round it started with a a a body shot actually straight body shot with the right hand and then after that he got a a head shot uh then ovin st Preux stumbled a little bit then it was like a one hit ko after that just landed on his face against the cage kind of it was a pretty brutal looking KO Jimmy mm. Manuel defeating OSP there and then uh, Gegard Musashi versus uh, Vitor Belfort the co-main event this fight pretty much went exactly how I thought it was going to go Vitor looked kind of okay um, a minute into the kind fight of surprised it went into the second round looking at this uh, yes and no like, well, I'm, I'm just like but yeah. Vitor looked good like a minute or two in and that that was about it Gegard yeah. overtook it, the whole fight after that. Well, the significant <laughs> strikes is pretty fucking ridiculous. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The, uh, 57 to 8. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the, the fight was kind of even at the start, but then after that, it was just a blip, 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 blip until he yeah. got TKO'd in the second there. <laughs> That's all I had to say about that fight, really. Yeah. Uh, Gegard should be given something. I don't know what. A uh, 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 silver title. Here you go, your second place. <laughs> All right, uh, and then the main event here, middleweight champion Michael Bisbing versus Dan Henderson. And uh, Michael Bisbing won via decision. Did he, though? Did he really? Did he really is the question. Did he really? I hear a lot of people say that the second round was to Bisbing, and I'm just like... (sighs) Hmm, I don't know. Well, technically, I, I called that. the second round a draw because it was. I it guess. Was, I guess. Like, 
it, it was 45 seconds of Henderson to three or 420 to Bisbing. So it like the second round was like Henderson obviously did a hell of a lot more damage. So you could maybe give the nod to Henderson or, but I, I called the first round a fucking 10, eight. And then the fifth round again was pretty close. So how this was not at least a split decision, I call fucking like fucking fucked over judge. One of the fucking judges had it at fucking forty nine forty six. Yep, that's like, definitely it, dumb. I know, like, like it, I agree with you that the what? first round, the first round was so crazy. Like Henderson almost destroyed him and ended it. Yeah, like, and yeah, the first I, round I, I, was I, I definitely did, ten eight. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. Andy Roberts, like, you're a fucking moron. I got your name right here. You're a fucking idiot. You don't know what you're looking at is all I can fucking say. Like, you're an idiot. I can't disagree. What? Like, I'm having a fucking stroke thinking about this because it was just that fucking stupid. Yeah. But I I did call the second round as a draw because I'm like, I I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Now, again, I guess... That Henderson, the second round was when he was kicked in the nuts, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm pretty but sure maybe. on that. Wait, no, which no, is that might have been the letting... third. That might have been the third. That might have been the third. That might have been the third. I want to say that but... was after he. Knocked no, 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 no. He was kicked twice in the nuts. He's mm, once it was stopped, okay. and once it wasn't stopped. Oh yes, I think it was yes. the one that wasn't stopped. Because mm-hmm. then Bisbing actually kept pressing forward, and he's like, "Dude, you just kicked me in the fucking nuts." And yeah, and then he knocked him out. Yeah, that was the second. In the nuts. That was the second round. Yes, that was yeah, that, the end of the second. That's one of round. the reasons why Bisbing looked so good in the second is because he kicked him in the fucking nuts. Yeah, but then then Henderson landed a pretty big punch. Oh, yeah, after no, turned that, around in the so... next ten seconds and just fucking flattened him <laughs> so, out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it reversed but, on Bisbing anyways. Yeah, but like 10-8 first round, 9-9 nine, nine second round, and then I gave third and fourth to Bisbing as a 10-9, and then the fifth round I gave to Henderson. Yeah, the fifth round really... is the, really the round you could give to anybody. I don't give a shit. Yes, <laughs> but yeah, exactly. It, it, nothing. Both of them were pretty fucking tired, and both of them had taken a fair bit of damage. So, mm-hmm. and Bisbing like, yeah, looked um, fucked up. Yes. Did you watch the press conferences after? I watched most of it. So okay. So usually they do a show on Fox Sports One or Two, uh, but there was soccer and football, so it didn't fucking play. Mm. So I didn't yeah, get I to watch any of that. And then, uh, well, the end of the uh, press conference. It wasn't a normal press conference. They had. I know. People th- come I know. So the, it was. It was the same kind of press conferences they did with uh, Conor McGregor and uh, and uh, Diaz. Just mm. their own separate ones, one and one. So the thing about that one is it took so long. I was like, oh my yeah. god, it took like f- two hours to do like four guys. Yeah, <laughs> it was so long. But yeah, no, the in- the interviews were good, and there wasn't even a Michael Bisping one because he was gone to the hospital. Would have been good yeah, to well, hear that at the. I'm pretty uh, sure he broke his face. Oh yeah, for sure. But they should have said that at the beginning of the conference, like, hey, Bisping, he's gone. He's not gonna be here. Yeah. And I would've been like, okay. I'm not even going to listen to this. I'm all right. <laughs> well, what Henderson said was actually pretty good. Oh, I like Henderson, but I could have just watched that the next day. I would yeah, just... <laughs> like Gig- what Gigar went through. Like Gigar is just talking smack about shit of like, I would have just jabbed his bing all night. Everyone knows that. Yep. <laughs> he, he, he does as best as he can. Yeah. As best as he can. I mean, he is trying to raise shit, but no one gives a shit that he is what he's saying or doing. So um, I'm trying to get Curbs to call in. We'll see if he does. We'll see if he does. It's not like I have a lot of wrestling stuff this week anyways. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I had um, Henderson winning the title for his final fight. But yeah, that's bullshit. Just calling it right here, right now. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree. It's not. It's not that much of a travesty, but the the forty nine score is pretty. Well, dumb. Yeah, yeah, right. Like I, I could see me a split decision going to Bisbing because how the fuck do you score shit? It's all up to how you see things, and if you do have some bias towards one person or whatever, like I can kind of understand some things, but 
that was like just like yeah 59 or sorry 49 46 is just fucking bullshit i don't give a shit like that's just fucking bullshit yep mm. yeah curbs isn't here no well no he's 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 doing stuff for school S- school yeah that's interesting Donald Cerrone's ranked six in the welterweight division. Why not? N- Nunez is saying I'm a 200% going to beat Ronda Rousey. I don't know if that's 200%. a percentage. Uh, I don't know. No, it's really not. <laughs> uh, Titan FC. I guess that might be tonight or tomorrow on UFC Fight Pass. If you want to tune into that. A few fights got uh, moved around from that Manila event already. Uh, I saw mm. s- that that Sam Alvey fight got moved to uh, UFN somewhere. Uh, an ultimate fight night somewhere. I forget where though. Soon though, like it's, it's like it's, it's within a month, so he's excited to fight that dude because I think this is his fifth or sixth fight of the year. Sam 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 Alvey, he's fought a lot. Yeah, he's this year's um. What was his name that did it that that one year where he fought like six times? Not that long ago, he was on tough. Uh, black dude, lighter weight. Uh, man, what was his name? Oh, I forget. I forget. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I honestly don't know who you're talking about. Like um, like cowboy typically does five fights a year and or not Travis Brown um, Matt Brown typically fights a fair bit as well that's like only takes five breaks pretty day. often I don't know if he fights fire fight fight fights a year now uh, I don't know he's fought like four in the past year I'm looking and he it has up right then now 205 I'm looking it up right now He's fought three times this year. Yeah, this year. And he still has one more. And then he's fought four times. And then he fought in December. So he'll have five fights within a year. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess he fights about four times a year. And that's that's pretty much exactly what it is. Four times a year. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get that on that fucking December 30th card. Four times a year since 2013, and then 2012 he had two, and then 2011 yeah. he had five as well. Yeah, so he's pretty consistent. Because he fought on yeah December 19th, and then so that's five fights within the year. Cyborg he, wants all, to he fight has Rousey four too. fights this year at welterweight. That's pretty fucked up. No. Tr- oh yeah. Know. So I guess I guess I we could Alex talk. Oliveira was. I guess we could talk about this too. I, I, next week, Bellator 169 is happening. King Mo's fighting 16. Satoshi oh, God. Ishii. Didn't he technically die last time he fought against Kimbo Slice? King Mo? No, that wasn't King Mo. That was somebody else. That was Dada 5000. Oh, Dada 5000. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know yeah. King Mo sucks, but he doesn't suck that badly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like King Mo, but it's just, he's not that bad. And then uh, uh, Bobby La- Bobby Lashley is also fighting on that card oh. against a nobody. I, I literally have no idea who it is. Like I, I remember his name. It's like a very short first name and then like three syllable last name. But it's 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 a no. It's a nobody. It's fighting against Bobby Lashley. Now it, <laughs> is Bobby Lashley the champion? No. No. He was a champion in TNA, which is the fake thing. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, but not not in Bellator. Oh no. Okay, one sixty nine is actually further off. The next one is one sixty seven. Oh no, man! Whoa. Okay. Wow. They're doing okay. So no, the next one is one sixty. I guess. It, oh my it, god. Yeah, Twitter. 
There's a tweet thing here for Chael Sun and putting on the Bellator gloves. Yeah. And dude, he looks not like he used to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, I'm not he... saying he's like horribly fat or anything like that, but he does not look like he used to. Does he look like CM Punk? <laughs> Actually, well, CM Punk at the weigh ins looked pretty ripped. He is not. I'm sure, I'm sure Chell will look better at fight time. Yeah, I yeah, know. Fair enough. Yes, he goes through a proper camp and everything like that, but. He went to the shoot looking like that is just kind of yeah. So, so the next bell tour is actually 162. So 169 is quite a ways off. Jesus. So, so oh, one, yeah. 162 no. is actually next Friday. Not, not tomorrow, but next Friday. Bobby yeah, well, the 21st. Like, and that does have Bobby Lashley. Yeah. yeah. And then the co-main event, or sorry, the main event is Kendall Grove versus Alexander Schlamenko. Grove is still fighting. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, Grove's been in Bellator for a long time. He's got to fight at least like twice or three times a year, that guy. And then at the, the next event, Bellator, is Phil Davis versus Liam McGeary. Watch out. That fight's actually going to be okay. Will it, though? Yeah. yeah I had so fine. much hope for Phil Davis, and he <laughs> never fulfilled no, for sure. anything. He looked like a... a a smaller John. Well, no, they were in the same division, so like he like, kind of looked like John Jones at first. Then it just yeah. fell apart. Well, he, he was just a really, really good wrestler, and he needed to work on his stand up. But he never really worked on his stand up. He just kept wrestling and then kept wrestling. Learned some ground and pound and then kept wrestling. But he never like whenever he was on his feet, he looked so awkward. Like yeah, I guess he learned some kicks, but then he never learned how to punch properly. Like it was just very strange. Yeah, Paul Daly is also on that card against a guy called Derek Anderson. I don't know who that guy is. Uh, let's see, one sixty four. Eh, you know, Douglas Lima versus Andre Korshkov. I mean, that's all right. It's an RK fight right there. Let's see, Michael Chandler okay, so versus this... Michael Bisbing. Or, or sorry, Michael Bisbing. What the hell am I saying? Michael Chandler versus Benson Henderson. At one sixty five. Yeah, one sixty five. That's a good, good fight. And then the co main event is Michael Page versus Fernando Gonzalez. And then after that, it's Linton Vassell versus Francis Carmo. That's a that's a good three fights right there. Mm, this actually doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Um, now I'm just a little con- that fight. There, there's no number to it. Which one? The the October twenty first Bellator MMA. There's no number to it. Yeah, it's one sixty two. So where does it say that? It doesn't say that in anything. I'm, I'm looking at it like, right now. I'm looking at the poster. There is no number set to the poster. Well, maybe the poster doesn't say it, but it's 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 Bellator 162. They number everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The poster doesn't say anything. Like you'd think the poster should be saying like Bellator MMA 162. Ah, the numbers aren't that but, important, Bellator. <laughs> obviously not. They do their it's like sometimes it's like weekly their fucking events, so it's like who cares. All right. Well, they do their tournament. Like, I like the idea of the tournaments. I don't think they do the tournaments um, anymore, really. Oh, they don't. Okay. Not really. I don't. I don't. I actually like so. that concept. Um, yeah, Bellator at one point was pretty cool. Is, but the issue was like the champion then only fought like twice a year, if that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it was, it was all right. Like Bellator's always been cool. But now, now Viacom got their dirty hands on it, and they're doing mm-hmm. dirty stuff to it. Well, the Viacom's only had them for a little bit, haven't they? Well, ever since they've been on S- Spike. How long's that been? Uh, it's been a while. It's been, Bellator's been on Spike for a long time. Because before that, they were on MTV2, which is still be- uh, a Viacom station. They just were not owned by them. Bellator, Spike. Okay, so here are the numbers. Acquisition. And then I will tell you. 2013, January 2013. Oh, they bought him at December 2011. Well, they they started on Spike on January 2013. So they had a few years on MTV and then they went on Spike. Wow. Well, probably because they had some sort of contract that was then. Perhaps. Or maybe they were just. That's a long time. Maybe they were just uh, like hyping it up and getting it ready for for Spike. Oh, that's. 
But yeah, no, no, Viacom has had them for a long time. Because T- they had them when TNA was on Spike TV still, and that, that was a while ago. Anyways. Now, TNA, well, what happened with that TNA thing? Did anything come out of that? Oh, well, I guess the, the one news story of wrestling that is worth discussing this week is, so you know who Billy Corgan is, right? Yeah. So uh, he put a lot of money into TNA, thinking that he yeah. was going to buy it. But Dixie Carter, she kind of likes to hold on to that thing and just get whatever money she can. She's been doing that for mm. a long time. So now uh, Billy Corgan is actually suing TNA and Dixie Carter. And actually, but there is no money to then get anything. Well, well no, I guess well, maybe I, he so the, thing, the actual company. The one thing about suing them right now is that they can't be sold if, you're, if you, there's an actual, like, you know legal actions being taken against them they can't that's be true, sold too. right now so uh, yeah. he's just preventing whatever because that's the thing they, they might dixie might be selling to somebody else right now too so who well knows? The, kind of, the, <laughs> again as you guys were talking about before the, there's pretty much no way in hell of insect man's gonna buy the whole thing uh, they're not gonna buy the whole thing no, no way yeah so they would be just buying portions of it or whatever um Oh, well, it, so there, there was no a, in, like, you know what WWE, um, uh, sorry, WWE network is right. You know what that is? Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's just UFC fight pass, but with wrestling. So yeah. they're thinking about doing what UFC fight pass does where they have indie events on their stream service, where they will have TNA on their stream service. Okay. So maybe UFC, WWE has more of an interest in TNA than at first was, was suspected i i don't know <laughs> but no but the issue is tna is not even successful enough to be able to run a show i know i know tna the problem so, with tna is that they run out of one place they don't really sell tickets it's just whoever comes to the park gets in if they want to and then they just do a wrestling show they don't really sell much merchandise. They don't. They don't do too much. Like it's it's straight up just wrestling on television. So like, yep, awesome, good stuff. Yeah, like I just don't see how that's profitable. Like I I just don't see that working. Like I like the thing. Okay, I guess they could then theoretically. Like, I don't know on how that would work with the UFC or sorry the WWE or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. On, I don't think would the, they get would they give them money or are they actually then owning them and they're no, just no, so letting I, someone else run it? They would. It would just be distribution rights, right? It's like the UFC fight. Right. Passes, okay. Just, you have the live rights to our yeah. stuff. No, but that makes sense to to what the WWE would want, but they're not profitable to even be able to do that. Yeah, you don't. I guess you don't need to be really profitable. To, you just need that enough money to pay WWE <laughs> and to sustain yeah, they yourself. They don't. They don't even have enough money to fight their. Uh, pay oh, their I know. Hey, TNA is a huge fucking mess. TNA is a huge fucking mess. I just don't. I, I don't understand why T- Dixie wants to hold on to it so badly. That's the part I don't understand. Just fucking sell mm. it. Just give it to Billy Corgan. I don't entirely understand why Billy Corgan, with it's such a headache. Seventy-nine boy would actually want it. Yeah, I don't know either, but you know. And he wants I guess, to change the name well, of it he, too. And... Billy Corgan is a giant fucking wrestling fan. He ever he always has been. He likes like, I remember ECW that a lot. From, yeah. <laughs> like I actually remember that from when like the Smashing Pumpkins are on that there was some interview and it was like someone asked him a question of what he likes to do and it came up as like wrestling or something like that. Professional wrestling is the greatest, this, that, and the other. I like, like to uh... see guys take chair shots behind the head in <laughs> ECW and get concussions. That's what I get high on. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much as soon as I heard him say that, I stopped listening to the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> but very soon after that, the Smashing Pumpkins kind of just dissolved. So. Yes, and he's actually a crazy person. So, yeah, <laughs> which is why it's Smash- he ended up going on off of, on his own or whatever, and that did not work out as well as no, he no. expected. I'm assuming because yeah, there was some horrible meltdown there. I can't quite remember what it was, but. Ah, who knows? It's every every musician has a breakdown. And uh, talk about a breakdown. I'm gonna break down right now and leave. How about that? Sounds good. Yeah. So thanks for good. watching. 
I'll stick around for an after show, but I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Maybe I'll play a video game. <gasps> That'd be insane. Whoa, no way. I know. That doesn't make any sense, but I guess I'll try. I could try. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. We'll be here next week again every Thursday night on Megascorcher.com. Uh, we're also on YouTube. Uh, you could, it, it, everything is Megascorcher TV. Everything. Our Twitter, our Facebook, our YouTube. Uh, what else are we on? Uh, just add a slash Megascorcher TV at anything and maybe you'll end up somewhere. Yeah, Facebook. Yes, there, there a is Facebook? a Facebook. There is a Facebook. <gasps> I know. Yep. Wow. There totally is. Like That's where you can go check out all our VODs and our MP3s. I'm uploading some stuff to YouTube right now, too. I found an archive of old stuff. It's not all of our, the old stuff, yeah. but it's some of I it. I noticed that you had the episode number 12 or something in it. Dude, you look like you're 12. <laughs> I, I was 12. I was 12. Yep. That was me. Top 10 FPSs. Yep. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't upload those at first because they got flagged by YouTube all the time, but now they don't. So that's that's good, I guess. All right, see ya. Bye.